Imagine walking through this majestic cavern filled with enormous razor-sharp crystals, but it doesn't want you there. Spending just 15 minutes in this cave could mean certain death. The air temperature is a sweltering 50 degrees Celsius with nearly 100% humidity. At those temperatures, your brain function will start to fail and fluid will condense in your lungs. You're basically being cooked alive while drowning from the air. Welcome to Cuevas de los Cristales, a heavenly cave of nightmares nestled 300 meters below the Earth's surface in Nica, Mexico. It features giant selenite crystals that took over half a million years to form. The secret is that it lies under a fault line where a chamber of hot magma fuels the hostile temperatures. Originally, the cave was filled with mineral-rich water that allowed the crystals to form. They are made up of gypsum, which you'll probably recognize as the primary ingredient in drywall. Water containing the mineral and hydrite was driven upwards into the cave opening by the magma chamber below. Before any crystals formed, the water temperature was extremely hot. But once it dipped below 58 degrees Celsius, the anhydrite began breaking down and filled the water with calcium and sulfate. Over thousands of years, the particles slowly began recombining into a variety of gypsum known as selenite. Selenite is extremely common and can be found pretty much anywhere in the world. So why aren't there any other places that have crystals this big? It has to do with the fact that the crystals remained underwater for so long while the temperatures remained stable. The combination of these two conditions meant that the crystals could continue growing for a really long time. The cave was discovered by a mining company 23 years ago and was actually drained before anyone knew there were even crystals down there. At first, explorers were only permitted 10 minutes inside the cave due to the excruciating conditions. Scientists who studied the cave had to take immense precautions to protect themselves by wearing refrigerated suits and breathing equipment. To demonstrate just how hot it is, even camera equipment has to be acclimated before it can enter the cave. Most of the footage had to be shot frame by frame due to the cameras overheating so quickly. Because of how dangerous it was, the cave was only ever open to researchers. One major discovery was the presence of microbial life forms that had been trapped inside of the crystals since their formation. Unfortunately, scientists also realized that being exposed to air for nearly two decades was compromising the structural integrity of the crystals. Because of this, the cave was reflooded in 2017 to preserve them. With the water returned in its original place, the crystal should theoretically continue growing. So for now, all we can do is marvel at the astonishing footage taken while the crystals recover in solitude.